For SunSentinel.com, this is Ira Winderman with your latest Ask Ira, Miami Heat mailbag. Our first question today comes from Taylor in Tazewell, Virginia, who asks, regardless if Chris Bosh is able to play or not, that he should really stick to playing only two bigs in the rotation, either be it Bosch and Hassan Whiteside, or Whiteside and Willie Reed. That formula last year seemed to work, and I don't see any reason to fix what's not broken. Taylor, as with so many responses in this direction recently, we don't know about Chris Bosch. It could be as simple as Bosch and Whiteside and all the other big men watch, or else it would be interesting if Chris cannot play or cannot play on a regular basis, whether Eric Spolstra actually would play two big men, two center types. Not so sure he would instead say, I want to get my best players on the court, my five best, regardless of height, regardless of bulk. I'm not so sure you could put Willie Reed among that group of players. Our next question comes from Daryl in Fitzgerald, Georgia. And Daryl says, Ira, the one thing that makes the Golden State Warriors a great team is freedom. They don't try to limit anyone's capabilities and put them in a role that makes them one-dimensional. There were times I thought guys like Goran Dragic, Hassan Whiteside, and somewhat of Justice Winslow were limited toward what they could do. Are Eric Spolstra's comments about not wanting to limit guys from being great players a step in the right direction? Daryl, actually, I always think that's been Eric Spolstra's mojo, his way of doing things, his M.O., if you will. He's always said, I want my players to be versatile. I think after that first year, when Dwayne Wade was alongside LeBron James, Eric realized that LeBron had to be more than a wing. And in recent years, you're seeing that. Look, what the Warriors do well is Draymond Green being multi-dimensional. The key is having players who can defend in one position and fill an offensive role at another. That would appear to quantify players like Justice Winslow and Josh Richardson, and perhaps Tyler Johnson and some of the newcomers as well. And our last question comes from Rodney in Miami who says, it looks like a foregone conclusion that Bryante Weber won't make the 15 player final roster after the Beno Udre signing. Do you believe the Heat fear that is he, if he is sent to the D-League, he will be snatched up by another team? I don't want to miss out on a gym in the rough, like Patrick Beverly, Ian Clark, or Garrett Temple. Rodney, I think right now there is no certainty with the roster, with the Chris Bosh situation. And remember, unlike during recent seasons, the Heat are not hard up against the luxury tax. They can afford to eat a salary and not have it be a problem. I do know this. If Briante Weber is cut at the end of the camp, I don't think he ever gets to the D-League. I believe he'll be claimed by another team off of waivers. That's something the Heat know going in. That's something that will be part of the decision-making when they come down to their final cuts. Those are today's three questions. We'll be back tomorrow with three more. For SunSentinel.com, I'm Ira Winderman.